Cervical cancer is the only preventable gynaecologic malignancy. From the 1950s, the American Cancer Society lent its powerful support to the year of the uterus and in so doing indicated that screened women should not get cervical cancer. So my focus over the last 30 to 40 years has been on screening to detect precancerous changes of the cervix and then responding to those screen detected abnormalities to make sure that nothing more serious develops treating precancerous changes. Cervical cancer's main difference is that it is truly preventable. All of the other gynaecologic malignancies, as big a problem as they are, are not truly preventable. In wealthier countries, the incidence of cervical cancer has significantly fallen over the last three or four decades. And the reason for that has been the introduction of screening programs. Unfortunately, in many resource poor, low and middle income countries, the ability to introduce effective screening programs has been really limited and as a result cervical cancer still remains one of the most common cancer killers of women around the world even though it's truly preventable. The TrueScreen device is a new generation cervical cancer screening device. It is pulsing the cervical tissue with some with some light energy and with some uh, electrical energy and the device has an algorithm which reads the response of the cells to that biophysical challenge and interprets whether the cells are normal versus precancer versus cancer. One of the big benefits of the TrueScreen device is it does give an immediate result, positive or negative. The positive result is as accurate as a really well done liquid based cytology in a teaching hospital setting and in so doing allows the possibility of a see and treat approach. In other words, women being treated at the time of detection of an abnormality rather than having to come back weeks later for a repeat assessment and treatment if necessary.